Shannon, welcome. Uh, Shannon you. Edwards Thanks. is the CEO of uh, Styloco.com. Uh, first of all, what, what is Styloco? Uh, we're an online shopping aggregator, yeah. so um, lots of different kinds of fashion, not necessarily the variety of Fifty Shades of Grey, but... But you're saying that there may be some links in there as to what some people links. are buying? I think particularly because this movie is pretty classy, you've got Sam Taylor Johnson, who's an artist, so there were chances that actually it would go into the mainstream even more than I guess maybe expected. Yeah. And we've seen all sorts of um, bondage inspired type products like expensive handcuff jewelry, um, lots of tassels. So it's sort of infiltrated the mainstream of fashion. So like handcuff earrings handcuff and Handcuff earrings, like handcuff necklaces, not exactly handcuffs thankfully, but um, lots and lots of tassels, massive increase in tassels. Um, so they, you know, quite inspired by um, the movie. I mean, it's interesting to me because the, the reviews are quite Terrible. Like, I, I haven't read a single review that's been positive on the movie, actually, but it has definitely gone mainstream. Yeah, yes. and I've seen a lot of positive reviews around the um, directing and the, you know, the cinematography and yeah. the clothing and stuff. And I think that bodes well, actually, for retailers because it allows for that then to, you know, propagate into fashion. And how about kind of the wider Valentine's trends? Well, I think it's kind of a perfect storm for Valentine's Day. You've got Fifty Shades of Grey. You've got an economy that's buoyant. You've got people quite happy. And we've certainly seen, you know, um, potential for the best Valentine's Day ever because of that. Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad you didn't bring me in earlier in that conversation. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, consumer, I don't, I don't even know how to link this anymore. Are you, are you curious to see the movie? Uh, I have. I have to admit, I have absolutely no desire to see the movie whatsoever. I have daughters who are 11 and 13, and we're already struggling to explain to them why this movie is so popular and why they can't read the book. I mean, they've done a phenomenal, yeah, not yet. They've done a phenomenal job at marketing it. Yes, I mean, at really yeah. making, because there's lots of erotic literature out there. Yes. I mean, it's, uh, you know. They, well, it sort of, it, it, it touched the hearts of, I guess, many mainstream women. And I think um, it, it's going to be around for a while because apparently they're sequels. Yeah. So the potential for uh, a lot more inspired products as a result is great. Well, look, I mean, I've been, I've been asking what is love. Loads of you writing in, uh, sending pictures of your, your, uh, your pets, a very, very sweet little dog, Linda. Um, uh, people writing in saying, well, love is when you don't have to explain anything. Uh, love, is, uh, love is understanding. Um, lots, lots and lots of loved up males heading, uh, heading into, uh, to mail, M-A-I-L, uh, heading, <laughs> heading into the weekend. Shannon, thank you very yes, much. Uh, thank Shannon you. Edwards, CEO of uh, styloco.com.